I think I began to see who this woman was. And there's always moments of excitement, wonder, or curiosity as things that you didn't think you were going to do suddenly appear. My name is Marcia Michael. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I was approached by McQueen and I was asked if I wanted to be part of this project. The way that I'm working with my own body at the moment is to reclaim my, my maternal ancestry, my womanhood, my maternal hood, my motherhood. And I thought it made, it made sense to use myself in this format. I was given a lookbook to look at. In particular, I noticed there was two dresses that had elements of what I call veins, um, like breath. So breathing. And in my translation, I began to see these breaths as women who were breathing again. So once I have the image that I want to find, I'm able to move around the arms and the head a little bit, just so it's more about what I'm trying to portray. It's an amazing process that took six days to print both parts. I'm gonna spend the next couple of days applying wax to the figure. This is where I'm going to form my narrative, basically. Make the body more figurative. You let the hand do what it needs to do. And I think the reason why I love this so much is because my, my imprints will be left on the figure. I'm also thinking about elongating the earlobe, which of course is reminiscent of some of the African tribes. There's other section to the bottom here. I've been thinking a lot recently about time and the way in which we see time. And you know about black holes, the, the way in space, when you're closer to a black hole, time is shorter to the time that we're experiencing here. I believe she's been dug up. That's my story, that's my narrative. She's been found, I found her, I dug her up. And therefore she can tell me many stories of the places she's been. It's a traveling experience. It's very maternal. But I like the way in which she has a type of crown. I love that. She, she you know, she's a queen. She is a queen. So the embroidery came about partly because I literally realized that because this woman that I was making, she had breath, she had lived before. I wanted to find a way to reclaim her in a way in which there could be a connection to that which she was before. And for me, that was the hair, the Afro hair, and making it known that she was an Afro woman, a black woman. I wanted to make it very clear that there was no hesitation whatsoever that this woman was a black woman. I decided to make the mouth symbolic of speaking. I've elongated the mouth, which has a reminiscence to tribes in Africa in which they play objects in their mouth to extend the size. For me here though, the mouth is all about the breath and I've made holes in this mouth structure in which to attach the threads of life, the veins, the roots that will become central to how I reconfigure the elements of the veins and marks that I saw in the dress onto the figure. So my idea was about concrete coming from the earth, clay. What was quite interesting is that when I formed her face as well, I needed to form her face from, almost from memory, but a memory that doesn't belong to me. So I just let my hands move into place on her face to make her face appear. And that was quite a strange moment 
because then she did appear and I saw who she was and then all the floods of emotion kind of come because I realised that she was this mother figure and especially when I got her cast and I saw her and all the clay was still attached to her and I thought she's been bound to earth. So I've named her, i.e. the title, um, Earthbound. <laughs>